Okay, I'm goofy. This backpack looks. Hello and welcome to day three of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge. So I'm going to go a little bit out of order because today is supposed to be an open topic where we can pick whatever we want. But I want to save that for the end of the week because it's beneficial for me to know a little bit more about the different folds you can do with flats. And right now I know three. So today I'm going to talk about cloth diapering on the go, aka what's in my diaper bag and we have this goofy, goofy, gigantic bag. Um, it was actually originally a picnic set. We bought it at a yard sale for a dollar or two. I really don't remember how much but I can tell you we wouldn't have paid more than three dollars for it. Um, but it's great because it does, even though it's super bulky and big, it has hard walls and it kind of makes things stay all organized. So. Normally in the front, in this front pocket, right now it's empty, but this is kind of our miscellaneous pocket, and um, I'm breastfeeding, so we'll have snacks for me if I get hungry, because I'm always hungry, and um, we'll also keep things like our keys and our wallets, and now you know where to steal our stuff, um, and then the next pocket has all of the diaper stuff. And right now in here, let's go through this one by one, I have the diapers, and I would take however many I feel based on how long we'll be out, usually I'll take from three to five, um, basically as many as I can stuff in there because it never hurts to have extra diapers. Next up I have my diaper cover, and I would have, this would be an extra, so I'd have one on the baby while we're going out, and then this one to change into it, and again if I can fit stuff some extras in there, I would definitely do that. I have a snappy, depending on what type of fold I'm going to do. Um, if I was just going to do a pad fold, don't need to bring this along. And then some cloth wipes. Now we use, we bought this again at a thrift shop, and just a, a diaper pad. But to be honest, I've gotten more into using burp cloths just because they're super easy to put down. This one kind of is massive. It doesn't seem that big, but it is massive and awkward. Um, but it's always nice to have. And I know if I continue to use burp cloths one of these days, I will regret it <laughs> with a giant P. And then lastly for cloth diapering, I have a wet bag, which is basically just a waterproof bag to throw all of the dirty diapers in so you can bring it home, bring them home and wash them. Then in this back pocket, we have all of our clothes and stuff. I have a burp cloth on top because our son likes to spit up quite a bit, especially when he's in a carrier, so it's always good to have one. Really handy. Um, plus I have some extra outfits for him in case he does have an accident. I have a blanket, you never know when it'll be a little cold. Um, and then I have just a shirt for my husband and a shirt for me in case we need to change. Just to give you a comparison of flat cloth diapers to disposable diapers, here are three disposable diapers with a pack of disposable wipes, and here are three cloth, flat cloth diapers pad folded with all of the, you know, the wipes, the cover, the snappy, and the wet bag that you would need to go along with it. And then, alternatively, if, if you decided to do a different fold on the go, I have mine pre-folded. Um, so this is the fold that I'm doing today. So um, have them all pre-folded and good to go. I'm ready to put on the baby's bum, so that's how much space this would take up. I kind of like the pad hole because honestly it sticks right down the side of it and it really doesn't take up that much room even though it does look a lot bigger than what the disposables take up here. An alternative to the wet bag is to just bring along a cheap plastic bag to throw your diapers in and bring them home to wash them. So a review on the fold I did yesterday which was the angel wing fold which comes from um, pre-fold where you pan out the angel wings, bring it up, pull the angel wings around and put on the snappy. Well we had not one leak but two overnight. The first one he went from about 
7.30 to about 3 in the morning and I thought, well, that's not too bad. It's almost 8 hours and the diaper was soaked. So, of course, I would expect it to leak. It was coming out of the diaper cover a little bit and I asked my husband about that and he said that he stuffed it in so that the diaper cover was covering it so maybe with our wiggly baby it kind of wiggled itself out. The second time was only about three and a half to four hours but again it was soaked so I can't entirely blame the diapers because they are super absorbent. I know every time I'm washing them and I'm wringing them out I'm constantly getting just tons of water just dripping out of them. Secondly, we have size 1 covers and even though they say they are for 0 to 9 months, 6 to 18 pounds, our little guy is probably around 14 and a half pounds right now and he has the biggest thighs I have ever seen on a 2 month old. What ends up happening while well, it has these two snaps here and you know one for the waist and one for the thighs, he's already sized out of the thigh one where this is a little bit too tight on him and will leave red marks. So we end up just doing the one snap because he does have a thinner waist, he just has those big thighs. So that could also be why the diapers leaked. But for the diapering throughout the day, I didn't have a problem at all. And honestly, I find these diapers to be way more absorbent than the microfiber inserts that I have for my pocket diapers. I will have leaks with those diapers after only two or three hours during the day, not even at night. I am hoping that this is why nobody talks about doing the angel wing fold for a flat diaper, and this is why instead they do the Joe fold, which seems very similar, but just a little bit different. So today's fold is similar to the angel fold that we did yesterday with the angel wings. Um, but this is actually specifically meant for a flat diaper. Um, so you take your big square and then you pull the corners in. Kind of feels like doing the origami that you did in third grade. The fortune teller. And then it doesn't have to be perfect and then from there you kind of do a pet fold. You fold it into thirds, then wing it out, and then since my guy's little, I like to fold the wing down, and then you bring this up. His tush would go right here. Bring this up, bring the wings over, put a snappy in place, and put it in your diaper cover. And one of the really nice things about this is you can see with these wings that there's plenty of room to go, grow. When I put it on him, they did actually come all the way over. So this would work great for a toddler or an older baby. So this is my video for day three of the Flatten Hand Washing Challenge and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye!